In today's video, I'll be tracking down an old dealership that was selling Vauxhall Vivas. I got this brochure right here. Trust me, there will be thrills and spills. Everyone, do not put your coffee on the roof of your car and drive away. <sighs> and there'll be other surprises along the way. This is a Type R. That's really, really cool. Yeah, I'll be road testing that tomorrow. But for now, I'm on the trail of a Vauxhall Viva dealer. Hey, good day everyone, Daniel O'Grady. Welcome to another Wasabi Cars video. Hope you are doing well. And I am a man on a mission today. I had to stop in for some supplies. One more stop to go. Uh, I'll get to that in just a sec. Now, what are we doing today? We are going for a bit of a, a, bit of a hunt. I got this brochure right here. There it is, a Japanese language brochure for the Vauxhall Viva. Got it from Yahoo Auction Japan. It's in Japanese, most interesting. There's an address here. And we're gonna track that down today. Now, why did I get this? Well, this is a GM product and the Holden Tirana, the HB Tirana was based on the very, very car. Also added bonus, Jack Brabham, the Aussie legend. He did a version of this car. There we go. Look at that. Now I saw something very, very similar for sale in Japan. Check that out. Now that one wasn't a Brabham Viva, but anyway, Brabham Viva, so cool. If only there was a Tirana version of such a car. Oh, wait a sec. Of course there was. There you go. I've got the Tirana brochure, and there is the man himself. So cool, and so great that the legend is living on with the BT62. That is a hot car. Anyway, on to more supplies, and then we are on for an adventure. Okay, supplies checklist, check and check. Number one, 7-Eleven coffee. It's the best bad coffee ever. And number two on the list, Family Chicken from Family Mart. It is absolutely outstanding. You rip the bag. Look at that. You got a piece of fried chicken. Mmm. So good. It's KFC-esque. One of them is heaven. And if you have two of these, you will be reaching for a bucket. And <laughs> not a bucket of KFC. It's a little bit oily. Anyway. We're gonna make a couple stop on today's adventure. Number one is Tribe Luxury Custom in Orwari. I wanna see what cars they have. Mm. Mm. So good. Yes, just about to drop in and of course masks on and I heard the UK may be shutting down again. Tough news for everyone. Now just around the corner here, some very cool cars. I just don't know if anyone's here today, to be honest. Um, I'll just have a look around, but I gotta, of course, check out the Corona. That uh, was a great, great memory from 2020. Well, Corona the car, not the virus that is sweeping the world. So here I go inside and I talk to Yamane san. I of course say Happy New Year in the traditional manner. And then I ask about that black Integra. Is it a Type R? Turns out it absolutely is. And as mentioned earlier, there's going to be a road test of this. I'm going to hop in that tomorrow. Am looking forward to that. But for now, I'm just going to leave it there and let's just get on. So is this the place I hear you ask? Nah, we're just making a very brief stop at Kurame Castle because there is something that I want to see. Namely, this. They are closed. <laughs> Damn it, they were closed. But the good news is I get to go into the car, put the address of that dealer into my Google Maps and we track it down. It shouldn't be more than 10Ks in some direction. Okay, extracting data. Inputting coordinates, Kurume City. People, 12 minute drive apparently. Four kilometers and we are there.
my coffee! Everyone, do not put your coffee on the roof of your car and drive away. <sighs> okay. I may be looking a little bit Lawrence of Arabia -y. Now we're not far people. Now that was my second cup, my second coffee. This driver is totally not looking at the road. Wow. That was amazing. Okay, we are probably within uh, hundreds of meters. Who even knows of this place? But I think there's gonna be a park on the left and then on the right is this place. So let me just crack one. Let's just pour one for the homies. And uh, fingers crossed. Now I will just mention something about Japanese traffic rules. At the train line, it's a stop sign. Now in Australia, if the gate is down, you stop, you, right? Because you, you can't drive through that. But when it's up, you can scream through as quick as you please. But in Japan, it is indeed a stop sign. You must stop. Now there should be a park on the left. Park on the left, thing on the right. Oh, I think I see it, people. And I see a big truck parked out the front, which is causing traffic to drive on the wrong side of the road. Good job, everyone. You're a legend. <laughs> hey, we've got a park. I can't, there's nowhere to get in. Wow. And there's a place. Wait a sec. Dude. Oh. Sadness. Oh, people. Let me just park the car. Oh, damn. Dude, that's it. That's the place over there. Um, anyway, let's jump out and see what we can see. Well, this is the place and let me see what I can find out. I did see a sign on the roofs. Did I? Just a second. That sign is for the um, real estate. That's not what we want. I want to see a business sign. I think there was one on the roof there. There we go. Jido Sha Seibi Kojo Repair Workshop. Obviously, they're sponsored in some way by Bridgestone. Bridgestone, I should point out, is a company local to Kyushu, uh, local to Kurume. Sorry. Anyway, so let's all see what we can see. They've been closed for some time. The glass looks clean, so it couldn't have been for so long. Garage space, plenty over there, shelters and whatnot. Notice no doors. Now, when you see garages in Japan so often, you see tools and parts everywhere. And of course, I'm just saying that because uh, they wouldn't dare do that in Australia, perhaps, anyway. And there's more garage space over here. Yeah, everything's long gone, people. JDM. Yeah, okay, well, I'm just gonna have a quick walk around the back just to see if there is any hint of anything. 2015, I can see something written on the, wall, uh, on the board there. Yeah, so I'm a few years late by the looks of it. Check out the old vintage Suzuki character. Never seen that one before. Anyway, there's a, a Suzuki dealership here. And the garage that I was looking at is just right there. Now I saw some old fella sitting down over there looking at me. I asked him some questions whether he was a local, no information, reluctant. And I just spoke to someone who was using that, uh, that space at that garage to park his car. Anyway, people, I've asked a few questions. I've asked around, no real luck, but thank you so much for following me on this adventure. I hope 
you enjoyed it as much as I did. <laughs> anyway, love you all. Everyone take it easy. See you next time. Take it easy. Goodbye.